Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can use the transpose function which is helpful to transpose the table where you know you may want to convert the rows to columns or column to rows. So I'll tell you one scenario as to where you can utilize this if you are let's say completely beginner and wondering why you may want to use it. So many times business scenarios happens and you may want to convert that. And uh, before that, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about my Power Query, uh, this sorry, Power BI tutorial sheet. So this is a this Google sheet where I keep all of my videos and this the, descript, the link is present in the description. That way you can come here, look at my video title, search very easily any of my video title present uh, jump to that video using the link present in the column B. Also I'm trying to maintain the topic category I need to still populate a lot but I have already populated the difficulty level based on the feedback uh, one of you have given me to, to basically maintain whether it is a beginner, intermediate, advanced, what type of tutorial it is. So this is to help you uh, for your learning journey and uh, as you can see I am right now after this on this row to just make sure that uh, you know that's where I'm going, going and populating this. So all of this is present in the description and uh, all the data set link and other information is present. So make sure you check it out. Okay, coming back to Power Query. All right, so here we are. And uh, first thing first is the data set. It's a very simple uh, pivoted data set and uh, I have it over here. Superstore sales and uh, the link of this data set is present in the description. So what I have done is for this scenario I have just created the custom data set out of the main data set. So where I have the main data set is this if you see this is a proper data set uh, where you have you know column properly mentioned over here and all the sales quantity discount profit so it's a Superstore sales. But over here I've just created this custom column, the, the custom data set, which is, if you see it is in a pivoted structure, you have category, subcategory, product name, and uh, the quantity that got sold in each year, right? So I'll click OK. So this is a sort of a pivot structure that let's say you are receiving from your data sets. So you click OK, and uh, then what, needs to happen is it needs to come over here in a couple of seconds. So this is the data set which is present. Now the columns are coming over here. So we will use use first row as header. So now the header is there in the transform, right? You have the option of transpose. Now before, before even clicking the transpose, which is the most easiest thing, I can cl simply click and it will transpose the data. So what it will do is I'll click here. And this is what it is happening. But what is the use of this, right? I mean, ideally we should know why, why this function is required. So if I come back and undo this. So what do we have is if you see furniture, bookcase, product name, sales 2017, 18, uh, 19 and 20, right? In many scenario, you may want to have the basically column for each of the, let's say product name in this case, if you see, your product names are different. So what I'll do is I will just remove this, right click, remove this, right click, remove this. And for each product, I have the sales, right? This is my final data set. And I want each product name as a column, you know, for my analysis. If let's say this is what my analysis requirement is. So to get each one into the column is a Herculean task. You have to write some code and let's say you are trying to do in VBA or in Excel or you know a couple of steps to do the transformation. But here, if you simply do the transpose, so now the, the name of the product is coming in the row number one. So I can use use first row as headers. So now it becomes a column, right? And what it basically then tells me that over here, what are the products, uh, product name that has got sold in last four years. So scenario like these are very easily covered with the help of data set. The only loss of information if you have observed is the number of years, right? So what it basically gives is 
the information in four rows, but because it is simply a transform uh, or the transpose uh, function, it only gives you that output. And another thing you may want to do is if let's say this is a structure that you are getting and you want to get the you want to get these columns as rows then the first thing you may do you may need to do is first you need to come use headers as first row so these headers are coming as rows and then simply say transpose so you basically get all of your rows over here and get the desired output over here so that's mainly I wanted to show you both of these things how you can easily do with the help of couple of functions that are present over here and get the desired output. With that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the new video with a new talk.